Hi friends, this is Rachel from Into Worlds and um, I have a couple of videos that I want to record today. Um, one of them is forthcoming, um, but I realized before I put out this long rambly video on the topic of play and playfulness, which I think is going to be really important and really fun. Um, I wanted to give a little bit of a framework of who I am. Um, I have actually got a couple of people who watch my YouTube videos now, which is very exciting. And so I want to let you all know where I'm coming from so that um, just so that you know a little bit more about who I am and what my framework is and all that good stuff. So uh, we'll start from the beginning. I'm Rachel. I live in Alabama in the United States currently. I am a bisexual Catholic witch. I um, have a really interesting and varied relationship with duality, um, as you can probably imagine with me being a bisexual Catholic witch. <laughs> um, but basically, what that means to me is that I really like to embrace the duality and the liminal. I try to do my best to work from a place of being present where I am um, in the in-betweens and not necessarily being always comfortable in the in-betweens, but knowing that that's honestly, for me, that's my spiritual home base is being in between extremes or in between opposites or any other duality like that. That's kind of where my soul likes to hang out. Um, it can be tricky sometimes. <laughs> I'm working through it, but it's also something that I believe gives me a unique perspective on life. And um, I'm able to get a lot of different downloads, I guess, from um, the sort of position that I find myself in. Um, a little bit of a background. I was raised in what I would describe personally as a repressive dogmatic childhood background. Um, I struggle with mental illness. I have bipolar disorder, ADHD, and perhaps a couple of other things going on. <laughs> um, I, um, like I mentioned, I'm bisexual and I always have had a desire to learn and improve and grow um, as a person. And this spiritual and emotional progressiveness mixed with my bisexuality, mixed with my bipolar and emotional instability. And then of course, um, in teenagerdom, having a lot of hormones going on and things like that. It was just very tumultuous growing up, especially as a teenager in the household that I was in. Um, I had very loving and caring parents, but they also have, sorry, have very loving and parent care, caring parents. But um, they also, felt that they knew exactly what was best for me. And they, to this day, still have an idea of who they think I should be. Um, and it results in some of that repression. So I actually didn't come out to myself as bisexual for a very long time. And I didn't come out to my partner as bisexual until after we were married. Um, so I am in a heterosexual marriage with with a man, a cis man, and I'm a cis woman. Um, but realizing that that was part of my identity and something that I had just squashed down about myself for so long, um, being able to own that now has also been a part of my spiritual transformation as well. You'll see this theme of discovering myself um, and changes, not necessarily changes in terms of I was this and now I'm this, but more in terms of 
self-discovery, like I said before, you'll see that that's a big theme for me as well. Um, and I really like to do that work and to get to know myself and to work on loving and appreciating myself, um, which is really difficult sometimes. Um, I'm a Cancer Sun, Aquarius rising, Scorpio moon. So I like to um, people please and I like to be very unique, but I also like to hold my secrets close a lot of times. So um, you'll notice I'm pretty open on this channel and one of the reasons that I'm doing that is an attempt to be more authentic with myself and to help myself in this process of self-discovery to see who I am outside of what I feel people expect of me. So there's that. Um, so that's kind of my background. Um, I got my first experience with tarot in 2016. Um, my good friend, Lovely, um, did a reading for me and it changed my life and I've been hooked ever since. I started researching it immediately afterwards and bought a deck very soon afterwards and just started learning and reading and my goodness, I love it. Like it's transformed my life. It's a form of prayer and meditation for me. It's a form of divination. It's a form of, it's a really powerful tool I found for self-discovery especially. And I do find that I use both the psychological and the spiritual models in conjunction um, to kind of frame how I'm able to work with tarot. Um, so what I was saying with the duality, it's really interesting. I like to have structure in a lot of my daily life, or at least I say I do. Um, I know it's important for mental health and things like that. It's been very interesting during this quarantine time to see how structure has made way for flow and I've really been thriving in the flow, honestly. Um, but in terms of like professional life and things like that, I really prefer lots of structure. And so when it comes to my spiritual practice, I'm more flowy and intuitive. Um, I do lots of research. I read, I observe, I experiment, I discuss. Um, when I say research, I don't just mean reading. I don't just mean taking other people's ideas and saying, hmm, okay, like, you know, here's an idea and here's an idea, and now I have two ideas. I like to play around with them. I like to do, like, mental games with the information that I have and um, journal about it and process it and all these things so that in the end, the sum of the information or the ideas that I come up with is more than the sum of its parts. Um, so when I say research, I do mean loosely. I do mean there's a lot of different ways I go about learning in this process. Um, the duality, again, is a really big part. So I was confirmed Catholic in 2018. And I believe that my relationship with God is one that transcends definition and transcends description. Um, because I believe that God is a God that transcends description. Um, but Again, there's that desire for structure, for ritual, for um, a code that's based in tradition and holy scripture and all these different things. And then on the other end, um, being a witch, I just believe that it's not... 
it's not all predetermined, you know? I have some agency in my life and I want to be able to use and in fact maximize when possible that agency to create my own structures or to create my own flows or to manifest what it is that I desire if it's in accordance with my highest good. So that's where I come from framework wise. And then in terms of just um, what my practice looks like publicly, I have my Etsy shop. I sell um, email, tar email tarot and oracle readings. <laughs> I don't know why that sentence always trips me up. Um, so I just send them to you by email. I type them out and put a picture and all that good stuff. I'm big on archetypes, um, using tarot, using sigils. Mm -hmm. um, I also have a Patreon account where I'll talk about all of those things. I'll also talk about mental health, frugality, creativity, and my various thoughts and musings. Um, and then I'm also obviously here on YouTube. I'm on Instagram. I am kind of all over the place. So yeah, thank you so much for taking this time to um, learn a little bit more about my journey. I hope you learned something. I would love to hear about you all. If you would want to put in the comments anything about yourself that you feel comfortable sharing from where you are in this wide world to where you are spiritually to where you were brought up spiritually, um, just anything like that, anything you feel is relevant you'd like to share, I'd love to know. And then if there's anything you'd like to hear about on my channel, let me know about that as well. Okay, thanks so much, y'all. Have a lovely day. Bye.